so many new fabrics, so little time. This is another special edition of Mission Workshop Reviews, Fabrics. <laughs> Welcome to another edition of Mission Workshop Reviews, Fabrics. You know, when I first did um, a fabric review, to be honest, it was kind of a filler piece. I didn't really have a new product to review, and it kind of bought me some time to get something new for you guys to review. And it was kind of interesting to me because it turned out to be like a very popular um, review. Uh, so I did another one, another one, and they're some of my most commented on reviews. They're some of my most, um, like, popular reviews. Um, you know, obviously, some of my bigger reviews for very popular and common products. But for just, like, a regular review, my fabric reviews really get a lot of hits. So I've been doing more, and, you know, it's working out great because Mission Workshop's been using um, a lot of new materials. So, um a couple weeks ago, a couple posts ago, I did a review on a VX21 fabric that is appearing in the new rake. You could check that out here if you're interested. Um, but I wanted to talk about VX07. Um, it is used only on the spar sling bag, which um, I did do a review on that as well for the actual bag. So if you're here to learn about the bag, go hit that button up there and you can watch review the bag. This is just, the material VX07. So um, let's talk about it. It's really unique. First of all, it is super thin and light. It's not nearly as burly as the 420D X pack material that uh, is used on some of the housers um, and previously used on some of the cargo bags. And it's even thinner than the VX21, which is being used on the new rake. Um, and I guess that has to do with the fact that this is a sling bag. It's supposed to be light and it doesn't not going to be holding that much stuff. So no need to use a super thick material. I like it. Um, now, it does have the diamond pattern, but as you can see, it's um, horizontal. The, the, so normally, if you hold the bag like this, the diamond pattern is, is uh, vertical. But uh, with this bag... Um, the diamond pattern is horizontal, as you could kind of see that the, the, the diamond ripstop pattern. Uh, also, I'm going to zoom in here. This material also has like a square type of pattern. Let's see if we could take a look here. You see that? Look at that. Looks like graph paper. I, I don't really know what that's about. Um, I don't know if it does anything. I Googled it and I couldn't really find anything. Maybe it's cosmetic. I don't know. But yeah, so VX07, um, it's a little crunchy sounding. Um, but honestly, the, the 420 X-Pack and the VX21 are also kind of crunchy. So if you're really looking for like a synthetic canvas like the Cordura... This isn't it. Uh, it is less noisy than the HT500. That is some really crunchy material. Although, I've kind of encountered different types of HT500. That's a whole other discussion though. Sometimes HT500 is super crunchy. Other times it's almost like wax canvas. But anyway, that's for a different post. So anyway, yeah. I don't have too much more to say on this, except it's shiny, it's crunchy, it's thin, but that's a good thing. It's lightweight, and um, I wonder if it's going to appear in any more items, like perhaps uh, some arcade accessories uh, down the road. I heard that they are making, uh, this is a little news flash for my subscribers. I heard they are making a Axis in VX. I wonder if they're going to be using the 07 because it's a very small piece or if they're going to be using the more burly uh, 21. That remains to be seen. And actually, since we're talking about it, uh, why don't I just do a quick comparison 
uh, between this and the VX21. Like that's the next step up in burliness. Just do a little side by side so you guys can kind of get a better idea. I'll be right back. Hey, hey, and I'm back. Okay, so this is actually um, a VX21 from 2016. That's right, the Rake was not the first uh, bag to get the VX21 treatment. Mission Workshop played around with an R6 with it. Um, that's actually my EDC, so I've actually been a big fan of the VX21 uh, that the rake now comes in, so I highly recommend it. And they made a bunch of accessories, and this is one of them. Um, this uh, is an orange VX21 utility pouch, and you can immediately see, um, and we'll hold them up side by side. Uh, you see, you could see the, the diamond ripstop pattern on this is a lot more pronounced than it is this. Uh, and that's not just because this is orange, I don't think. Although the white version of this, you can totally see it better. So if you really want to show off the, the rip stop, then, uh, you know, go with a different color than black, I suppose. But uh, anyway, this is just, just handling it. I know I can't do too much for you because of the computer screen between us. But trust me, this is a lot thicker material than this. This is so thin. Um, and again, that could be good or bad. Uh, but I think that's really good for this. Um... But they're both equally as weatherproof, um, I believe. Uh, you know, I don't see how it wouldn't be. Uh, just a lighter, thinner material, um, which is sometimes a good thing, sometimes a bad thing, depending on your uses. Anyway, I'm rambling enough. Guys, thanks for watching. We are getting close to 1,000 subscribers. Really need to hit that 1,000 point. We're so close. I could taste it so I can start getting ad revenue back on this channel, which really is gonna help keep funding this along. So please subscribe, get your brother or sister or friend to subscribe, boyfriend, girlfriend to subscribe, mom or dad, help me out. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos, drop a comment below, I'll answer anything related to Mission Workshop, not just about this review, let me know, love interacting um, with you guys. And I'll see you in two weeks.